Hello Aries, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and please leave the rest alone. It won't resonate with everyone. Courage. This is Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo here. Courage. We gain courage from remembering all the challenges we've been through. We've survived up till now. You're still here. So that we've always got more strength than we give ourselves credit for. I always say that with this card. Forgiveness. Now this might take courage to forgive. It might be an apology that's needed by you or someone else, but she's walking away from past challenges. She's understanding here. It might take a lot of courage to move forward and let it go, but forgiveness is about, um, it's not about saying sorry to everybody. It's about understanding that everything you've been through and everybody that's came across your path is for your spiritual growth. And they have taught you something. So we're going to forgive these people, these situations, because we've learned and we've grown as a person. And there are lessons that we can use in life as we go forward. It's a beautiful energy to be in because it's accepting. It's accepting that um, everything that's happened to us is for our higher good. So Spirit, please show me clearly what this is about. The Lover's Card. The Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. Now, this could be about a relationship. This is a lover's card. It could be about a relationship. It could have been very challenging here. You're learning loads, like we said. You might be forgiving somebody for the challenges they've put you through, and you're finding that compromise. Now, there can be a feeling of loss. It can feel like a bittersweet victory because you feel as if you've lost your pride. It could feel like they've gave you a, a hard time here, and it's something you didn't deserve. But if it's a relationship here, um, finding that compromise is going to serve you well. Focus on what you're coming out with and not what you're leaving behind. And that's part of forgiveness, finding a mega road. Now, if it's not, it can be that you're going through loads of challenges here that you're learning about. And Gemini energy, you could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with Gemini in their chart here. Um, this is you choosing. The old idea of this is choosing to find a compromise. Choosing, it could be choosing bittersweet victory, leaving something behind to put an end to your challenges here, most definitely. So it could be forgiving things and having the courage to move on. So let's see what this Nine of Wands, no, they're directing me to the Five of Swords. Sorry, the Five of Swords spirit, please. The High Priestess, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Now, what we've got here is we've got enlightenment. You're starting to see the way forward. We're talking. It could be a form of communication. You're ready to talk. You're ready to find a compromise. You're ready to let things go. Take the bittersweet victory because you're listening to your intuition here. Now, intuition is an enlightening card. If you listen to your gut feeling about things, sit in the quiet, what you're sensing and feeling, you will start to see clearly because swords are, are mental energies. You'll start to see the way forward and you can see a rising up there. She's starting to become enlightened. She's starting to see the path she needs to take. She's starting to see what she needs to do here. Now, fives are changed, so we need to move on, you see. We need to change this situation. And through doing that, there's going to be a lot of blessings are going to come from doing this. So there's blessings after challenges. This is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but it's, it's you've had to go through challenges to get here because you need to learn things. And that's what this nine of excuse me, this nine of wands is about, it's about learning. You're learning all the time what's for you and what isn't. And when we listen to our intuition over that and we let things go and we forgive everything about the people that have taught us our lessons, we go forward to lots of blessings. We can, it's a very beautiful place to be as forgiveness. There's a lot to be gained from forgiving and letting the past go. Don't hold grudges. That's what we're trying to say here. Don't hold grudges. And they're wanting me to clarify the lover's card. The eight of pentacles. The two of pentacles, yeah. And the seven of cups again. So it's about weighing things up here. It's choosing now to be courageous, to let things go, to weigh things up. It could be weighing up a relationship you've been involved with. You could be juggling too much here as well. So we might have to look at the balance of the relationship, things like that, the challenges that are going on within it. We need to weigh things up and make head over heels decisions about how we want to go forward. Now, it doesn't have to be your relationship. It can be your life. And we need to get more focus here. We need to be more well balanced. We need to gain focus and we need to focus on the things that matter and let the other things go. 
That's quite simply what I'm hearing. Focus on what matters to you. Don't waste time on past experiences. Focus on the present. Let the past go and you will gain the benefits. And there's lots of blessings ahead. Lots of blessings ahead from doing this. Okay. So beautiful energy here. Beautiful outcomes. Archangel Uriel. A great spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and in our world. This is the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter, heart and mind, unite in harmonious balance. Let it go. Absolutely. Forgive because there are loads of blessings ahead and loads of benefits for you, your family or your soul tribe through just not bearing grudges anymore. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.